Hello and welcome to the third lesson in the series of uh, Mechanism Simplified. This is lesson three and it's on parameters. Now make sure you watch the first two lessons before you get into this one. Basically what we had from the last one is we were talking about states in a state machine. We were talking about the transitions. So if we left click on one of the transitions, we see that over here what happens is that it'll change states from idle to dance for an exit time with a certain value. And if I click on this, the only choice I have right now is an exit time. The same way if I want to go from the dance state to the idle state, the only, uh, value, the only option I have, again, is exit time. And when I click on it, that's it. It's just exit time. Supposing I wanted to make it where the user could control when my characters transition from the idle state to the dance state. Say it was when I press the one key on the keyboard, they would go from idle to dance. And when I press the two key on the keyboard, they would go from the dance state to the idle state. How do I do that? Well, the way I do that in Mechanin is I go to parameters and I open that up. And when I do that, when I click on the plus sign, I get four data type options. I get a vector, a float, an uh, integer, or a boolean. I'm going to take a boolean value, and you'll see the reason why. And I'm going to name my boolean parameter, I'm going to name it dancing. D-A-N-C-I-N-G. Now, what is a parameter? A parameter is a variable that has a value that can be passed around to different aspects of the program. Uh, that's what a parameter is. Now, since I have a parameter there called dancing, I'm going to click on the transition from idle to dance. And if I come over here under the conditions, I now see a new condition, dancing. That's what I put in my parameters. So I click on that, and the default is true. So when dancing is true, It'll make that transition from idle to dance. Now, when I come over here for the other transition, I want dancing to be false. So if I make dancing false, and I get a, a notice I have two options, true or false. And now when dancing is false, it'll make the transition from dance to idle. So the parameters, I can have many parameters here, but let's just do it for one. Now, in order to tie this all together, I need a program. And in order to have a program, uh, one of the things I need to do is to go into the help session and go into um, the scripting reference. And then when I go into the scripting reference, I can do this. Let me get this window down here. Just a, bit, a minute. All right, there's my scripting reference. What I'm looking for here is I'm looking for uh, animator in my scripting reference. Let's see, I messed up here. Let me try it again. Window, uh, I'm sorry, help, help uh, scripting reference. And what I want is uh, animator. All right, let me bring this over here so you can see it. And I'm going to type in animator. A, there it is with a capital A. And I click on that. And then hit the enter key, and it says your cert resulted here. So here I have animator. I click on that, and there I see all of the uh, animator variables, which are which they call variables, are actually properties because the animator is a class. And then down here I see uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, those are the properties, and these are the methods. They call them functions. And one of the things that I want to do, I want to have a set boolean, set bool function. This sets the value of a bool parameter or boolean parameter. Boolean is uh, either true or false. So if I click on that, I see how to do it. It shows me I set it up, uh, it's set bool, and it's the name or the identifier, which in this case is dancing, and its value is boolean, which means it's either true or false. And it's void, it doesn't return anything. So that's what that's what I want. I want to, I want to use that kind of a um, uh, of a uh, function in my in my code. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a very 
a simple JavaScript program, which I have right here. I've already done it. And pardon me, I'm going to open this up and it'll come up and there it is. And there's my program. What I have here is I have a variable identifier, which I've named my animation. And it, it is of this class, Animator. That's the one that we researched. Animator is the interface to control the mechanism animation system. I'm going to put this under update so it'll constantly ch check for a key press. So if my key, my key up is a one, it's going to be my animation uh, dot set boolean, and this is the, the this is the action that we wanted it to take. That's my identifier dancing. That's what I named it as a parameter. And I'm going to set it to true. Sets it out, okay. And if the key is two, then I'm going to use the same kind of uh, 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 function again, the dot set boolean. Dancing, that's my parameter that I defined in the mechanism system. I'm going to set that to false. So when it's true, it'll transition from the idle to the dance. When it's false, it'll transition from the dance to the idle. And it depends upon which of the two keys that I uh, depress. So I'm going to go back here now and set this up. Let me just put this right here. Okay, I'm going to come back here and set this up. So in order to do that, let's try that first with the skeleton. So I'm going to bring this right over here and attach it to the skeleton. And when I do that, I click on here. I see it says, my dancing script, my dancing, there my animation, and that was set up as a global variable, there's nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skeleton right here and put him right here for the animator. It's going to be him. Okay. And, or I could have clicked on this, and this comes up. I see I have none, Joan, or the skeleton. That's my options. All right. So now let's just see if it works for the skeleton. So I turn this on. There they are, both in the idle mode. I press the one key, and the skeleton starts his dance because that was the transition. Now that transition is over. I press the two key, and now the uh, the skeleton goes back into the uh, pose mode. So I need to do the same thing for Joan. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my dancing, put it there, click on uh, Joan, and I'm going to use her as the animator. So she comes over here like this, just like that, and now I click on this again, and now let's see what happens. I press the one key. They both go into the transition and go to the other state. I press the two key, and now they stop and they're in the pose mode. I press the one key, and they and they do that. So now if I come back here and I open up the script, my dancing, uh, what I see is the code that I've used, and, and that's probably the, uh, the most important part of the, uh, of the program. Okay, that's it for, for this uh, video. Uh, and we're gonna have, I'm going to have some more series on Mechanism Simplified, so come back and look for the other videos. Okay, thank you for watching.